Hey there, welcome all PowerPoint users. My name is Andrzej Pach and today I want to show you how to properly work with images in PowerPoint. You certainly know that things often go messy if you copy some images from over the internet, you want to place them into a presentation and they look something like this. You make it smaller, you make it bigger, but they never ever fit the screen how they should. I want to show you a few tricks how you can master something like that with those images. So let's get into it. At first, you need to arrange all those three images to be of the same size. How to do this with one click? You can use something you probably don't use in PowerPoint. I don't use it myself very often, but this time it's really useful. It's called Picture Layout and we are working here with the Smart Arts. Once you go to Picture Tools, select the Picture Layout and select any layout you would like. For example, I will use the third one because we will change everything anyway. Now what Smart Art does, it makes the pictures even and it creates a group around them. A group with some text boxes. Now you have two options of ungrouping it. Either you right click on it, select group and ungroup, or you go to the reset tab, you click on convert and convert to shapes. What we have now is three images and three text boxes under it. So I am left with three equally sized images and we are potentially already prepared to work with those images. I simply ungroup them once again. Okay, the text boxes are here. Let's delete them. And you have three equal sized images in PowerPoint. Now, you would say that this image is displaced and you wanted to change how it appears. You select this image, you go to format, and you select from the size options, the crop tool. The crop tool allows you to change up this image for example, to only select the first two bubbles. The same goes for the ape. I wanted to only show her face. So let's resize it with shift key. And I have only the face. All right, I have those images. I select all three. And let's say I wanted to have a triangle, not such an object like this. It is also very simple to change. You select all the images you want to change. You go to drawing tools this time, edit shape change shape and select the shape you want to use. If it's something like that, that's no problem. You just select it, but this doesn't quite look professional. I will use the triangles as I showed you before on this slide. I have three perfect triangles. And as I see now, it looks even better than this one I created. So sorry for that. I move them with the shift key. I select all three, even the white border is okay. I go to drawing tools, shape outline, I make the weight maybe to three points and I already have a nice looking presentation with a few image. This looks definitely better than images just thrown into a presentation. So to quickly recap what we've done, I selected the images, I went to picture tools, I selected a layout for them, I then ungrouped them and changed their shape. This is really all you have to know when working with pictures in PowerPoint because once you know those few tricks, you can really do everything possible with those images and create good looking slides. If you did like the tip I shared, I can offer you something. You could, for example, use this coupon code to enter my PowerPoint course. This is a really extensive course on PowerPoint tricks like that and far, far, far beyond that. If no, please hit down here to subscribe to this channel. This is also very important to me because I will know that you are interested in those tutorials and I will be more motivated to post more of them. Thank you for your attention in this lesson and hear you in the next one.